everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs this is going to be for the sun moon and rising of capricorn i do want to mention i first of all i do want to apologize for not being able to upload the videos a little bit sooner i've been extremely busy just it's been crazy <laughs> i've been um, extremely busy with uh candle magic spell work uh rituals and rites that i've been doing with clients so uh again i'm it's just really hard right now at the present time uh, and things are only going to get a little bit worse in a good way um, in regards to business because at the end of the year is the busiest uh, for me uh, when it comes to the craft and when it comes to what I do um, a lot of people come for you know wanting to see what's uh, coming to them for the new beginning of the year a lot of yearly readings and stuff like that so I do want to encourage you guys if you guys are interested in private consultations look at the description box below uh, now's the time to book because I cannot promise you guys availability uh, for the last two months of the year okay because that's that's when it gets really really hectic um, so again now is the time to do so um, anyways before I get into the reading for you Capricorns I did some uh, channeling with spirit guides and work through them uh, to be able to give you guys a specific message or specific messages for the month of September I'm only doing this for this month uh, you guys comment like share my videos definitely let me know in the comment section if you guys like uh, for me to integrate the channeling um, in the process of the videos or if you enjoy it more like this or if you don't you just want me to go straight to the cards then I will do that okay so definitely let me know and get me feedback so anyways Capricorns the messages for you were I heard booming very strongly so it could be money comes in for you guys or you guys start to uh, see things uh, happen very very quickly so it could be whether it's in relationships whether it's in finances and business or whether it's health wise if you guys been struggling with health issues or anything like that um, you're going to be going through a recuperation you're going to be going through uh, a lot of shift changes but not just shift changes it's like um, almost feeling the energy of uh, almost feeling the energy of Jupiter which is the Sun sorry <laughs> the Sun which is the planet of you know abundance and luck so again um, I feel that because I did hear you know Jupiter so I feel that Jupiter is going to be playing a very important role for you Capricorns for the month of September all the way to the middle of October so again it, it's like business is booming everything is going really really well but it's going to go really really quick as well okay also new beginnings for you guys uh, either moving or buying a new home and a new start um, what that means is if you guys currently have been thinking about purchasing a new home then it's definitely going to happen at the end of September oh sorry about that <laughs> um, if you guys are uh, you know you just recently came away from a relationship or broke up in a, uh, there's a departure in a relationship um, in the past three weeks or in the past three months there's definitely a new beginning here uh, with someone else coming into your life very soon if not already so there's definitely new beginnings for you guys as well also uh, for a lot of you Capricorns out there try the best you can to not make so many um, you know don't get mad very quickly try the best you can to deal with whatever's happening in your life uh, a lot of anger and anxiety uh, aggression also uh, if you suppress that what's gonna come out of it is usually high blood pressure I did hear um, you know blood pressure and I also heard uh, headaches so again try to watch that uh, try to hydrate yourself and maintain yourself in balance so it is there's a necessity there's a necessity of you guys either meditating or doing some type of sport that can release that type of aggression because again if you don't um, the suppressing feelings and emotions are definitely going to come up and they come up as illnesses so try the best you can to maintain that and uh, lower the the possibilities of getting any type of uh, issues when it comes to high blood pressure when it comes to um, anything of, of you know uh, diabetes anything like that just try to keep that in check for sure okay let's see what else okay I think that is 
Oh, also, um, believe in yourself, okay? Try the best you can not to doubt yourself. Believe in the process. Know and understand that spirit and the universe is working for you and towards you to bring things towards you, I should say. Uh, so understand that and know that, okay? So let's get into your reading Capricorns. Let's see what the cards have for you guys. Spirit and the messages for Capricorns for the month of September 2017. What are the messages for Capricorns for the month of September 2017? What are the messages for, for Capricorns for the month of September 2017? Adivinando desde el pasado, adivinando hacia el futuro, constantemente mis seres me dan la facultad para la adivinación. Adivinando desde el pasado, hacia el futuro, constantemente mis seres me dan la facultad para la adivinación. Okay, so again, like I said, a lot of abundance and stability for you guys. I keep seeing uh, the Ace of Wands, and also I kept seeing um, the Ten of Pentacles. So it's definitely structure and balance or abundance when it comes to money. Um, and also the World card. So there's the ending cycles and new beginnings, which makes perfect sense. Let's get into this. Okay, this is my last. Let's see what the cards have for you, Cappies. All right, your first card is the <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles, okay? New beginnings, new beginnings when it comes to money, when it comes to finances, when it comes to practicalities, and when it comes to uh, creating or the manifestation, the, pro the beginning process of manifestation on, in the material plane. You have the Two of Swords, the Ten of Cups. You have the Death card, so again, new beginning and an ending cycle. You have the Five of Cups. You have the Nine of Cups. You have the Page of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Hierophant, the Queen of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Wow, Capricorns. You have the Chariot card as a general energy. So as a general energy, the Chariot card is, again, a lot of momentum. I'm, I definitely picked up on that when Spirit was speaking to me Um you know, uh, feeling like booming to me. It's like uh, kind of like when there is going to be a release of something and it just goes flying up the, to the sky. Um, so again, a lot of momentum, a lot of movement. You do have a lot of movement cards. The Chariot here. You also have the Six of Swords here. You also have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is like really quick, fast movement, communicating back and forth. So anyways... Uh, this is amazing because the chariot card does talk about triumph as well. So anyways, let's get into your reading. So you have the ace of swords. Sorry, the ace of pentacles. So it's a new beginning. You're going through a stage right now where you're starting to reap uh, opportunities. You're starting to reap um, the fruits of your labor. And it, it's like it's taking you a while to get to where you're at, but you're definitely getting momentum. And from here on out, it's really up to you what you make of that. You have the Two of Swords, and the Two of Swords is making a choice or having to make a choice. Having to make a choice regarding your family or regarding your home life. Based on that choice, you have the Death card here. So the Death card is definitely talking about there's an ending cycle here. There's something ending for you, Capricorns. So it could be the release and actual removal of a past relationship, or it can also be um, the making of a choice or choosing a job uh recently that you chose a job that perhaps wasn't as great as you thought it would be at initially but now that you have been in that position or now that you're learning about the company and getting uh pretty much learning the ropes um you're starting to see a lot of emotional fulfillment you're starting to feel back like yourself or you're starting to get very very high regards in regards to your family and them like basically being able to find and integrate harmony within your household the death card is definitely talking about an ending cycle here so if for some of you capricorns if you had been dealing with money struggles there's an ending to that for those of you guys that have been dealing with um you know issues in regards to the the family like like having issues with your kids with your wife with your husband there's definitely an ending cycle to that and a restoration of it because there is the Six of Swords here. So it's like moving on or moving uh, forward in a positive way. 
Now, the Five of Cups here definitely talks about uh, these are in the past and passing position. So the Five of Cups is talking about feeling sad or feeling a little bit of like sorrowness uh, behind some type of behind some type of whether it was family issues and you were dealing with that a lot and it made you very emotional or whether it was the actual death of a family member or someone that recently passed away and it's been extremely hard for you because the death card can also is also giving me the sensation of like some type of tension or some type of non-acceptance and usually when that comes up I feel like a little bit of blockage it's like you're not wanting to accept the change that happened which already happened, okay? I'm not saying that <laughs> you guys will be losing anyone soon. I'm just saying that it's already happened and there is a bit of a resistance of that change with this Five of Cups. It's still feeling sad, still going through difficulties. Now, the Hierophant here definitely speaks about being guided by a person that is wise, being guided or going towards uh, someone for advice, um, someone that could be wise beyond their years or they are... Um, you know what what can what 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 one would consider sorry like what 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 <laughs> what one would consider a wise person or someone that is you know uh between their ages of 60 to 90 years old uh you going to them and actually giving or getting advice from them and them doing it or giving you the advice to the best of your interest now again the decision that came is a decision that perhaps you doubted at first, but now you're starting to see that it was the best decision you could have made. You're going to be um, experiencing a lot of abundance. You do have two tens here. Sorry, it's a nine, but it is the wish fulfillment card, and this is the ten of cups. So wish fulfillment, and this is the manifestation of that wish fulfillment, or of that wish actually coming and manifesting. So that's definitely a beautiful thing. You have the Queen of Wands here. The Queen of Wands definitely talks about a fire sign. A fire sign would be a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. And this is a person that's definitely interested in you. For those of you guys that are single, as you do have the Ace of Pentacles, so it's the starting or the beginning process of a connection with this fire sign. Um, again, this person is definitely wanting something long-term. It's like they're putting their efforts in actually giving you the time. Uh, it could be a person that is extremely busy as well um, because the Queen of Wands usually represents a person that's very passionate and very strong uh, when it comes to anything that has to do with their profession or anything that has to do with, um, with how they make money. So again, uh, this could be a person that's genuinely actually giving or putting the effort into getting to know you better. Now, you do have the 10 here. Again, like I said, it's um, emotional fulfillment, but not just emotional fulfillment. It's actually a harmonious balance within the family or within uh, those of you in the immediate family. This is the page of swords. The page of swords is definitely an air sign, so it could be an Aquarius, uh, a Libra, or a Gemini. And this could be a younger person. This could be a brother or this could be a son because it is right under the Ten of Swords. And I feel that you've been having a lot of difficulty communicating or uh, making them see um, your point of view in regards to something with their life. So it could be like a career. It could be like uh, their schooling, whatever. And it's like you've been having issues in regards to that. But finally, again, like I said, the Six of Cups definitely brings balance. Not just balance, but... Um, progression the six of cups can also be a representation again like i said of a son because it does speak about children and your children uh may be a teenager so it's like you're having difficulty uh getting or communicating with them but with the six of cups there's definitely um understanding and harmonious energy again like i said this is crowning the 10 so it's definitely family related and connection with that um, so I do see that there is, again, like I said, if you guys have been dealing or struggling with um, getting along, uh, getting them to understand what, why you request certain things from your children or whatever, um, with, this t with this death card is definitely talking about the ending of tension, the ending of disrespect or arguments, and being able to balance that out. Now, the Six of Swords is definitely talking about moving forward moving forward, leaving an ending cycle behind, learning from that, and having quick communication or quick movement in a positive direction. It's like you're very, very energized. You're very focused, and you know exactly what you're wanting to do. 
the eight of wands can also be a representation of arrows of love so again like i said for some of you guys that are single you're dealing with a fire sign or it could be an earth sign like yourself but i feel like it's between um a fire sign which would be an aries sagittarius or leo or a cancer a person that is of cancer sign moon sun or rising um and the eight of wands is like quick communication and them definitely communicating with you and getting to know or trying to get to know you in a better uh deeper level okay so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share comment my videos um if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe and we'll see from each other at in the middle of september for the love ratings okay bye